Hello everyone, I'm here with Dan Edelman with Rockwell Insulation. He's gonna answer a few of the questions that I have about their product, and especially as you apply it to an exterior um, wall outside of the framing. So we've got a little, we've got a little uh, sample here. Can you, can you explain what's going on here? Yeah, so first of all, Rockwell is actually made out of rock. So it's the entire earth's crust made out of uh, basalt and recycled seal slag. So it's a very natural product, environmentally friendly. Uh, one of the features and benefits of using Rockwell insulation, the first one is fire. It's fire safe, so especially on an exterior kind of facade, it's gonna be a fire resistant barrier. So when you start talking about wooey areas, the wildland, uh, wildfire areas, you know, this is something that's gonna really help protect the home uh, from fire. It's also water repellent, mold and mildew resistant. So even if it does get wet, it's gonna be able to drain very quickly. Uh, vapor open, which is the biggest, I'd say, feature of this, having it on the exterior, more so in the colder climates where you're gonna have a lot of vapor drive trying to go through your wall assembly. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna hit our product and actually go through. So by assembling it with a, you know, your uh, WRB, this is zip system right here, then comfort board 80, and then furring strips. So we do recommend wood, not these plastic ones that we show here, just because then when your cladding goes on in front of that, the wood is gonna be able to actually get secured from, uh, I'm sorry, the cladding secured with the wood. Got it, so there's special fasteners that you recommend that can drill through this and there and also have the amount of tensile strength that you need? So any, any fastener, if you're going into wood, you just need a wood fastener. Uh, exterior screws work really well. You could use nails if you wanted to, uh, but pretty much anything, if you are just, when you initially put the board up, anything with a uh, one and a half inch washer is gonna work the best. Got it, so the big question for most people, so you've got this insulation on the outside, and obviously we said wearing a jacket on the house or your body is better than trying to shove insulation into your core, doesn't keep you as warm. So when you do that, do you need extra insulation on the inside of the house? So you actually could reduce the amount of inside insulation by putting up uh, more exterior insulation. And one thing that being that it's vapor open, it's like putting a flannel jacket on, not basically like a plastic bag on. So it's not a vapor barrier like a lot of the foam and the other plastics that people are putting on the exterior. Got it, so you can use the rock wall on the inside and the outside of the house. Correct. So got it. Yeah, right. so we have a comfort bat which is for the interior wall cavities. Two by four, we start with an R15. Then we have an R23 for two by six. And we also go up to an R30. Uh, some new products that we are gonna be coming out with shortly is an R13, uh, an R21, and an R38. More so for the, the code compliant areas that it's gonna reduce the cost. So you still have all the great features and benefits of using a Rockwell product, but without the added cost. I see that you've got this for a wall assembly. Does this also work on roofs? You could use this anywhere in a building, starting at the sub slab and then below grade, you could backfill right up against it. You could also put it on the other side of that foundation in a basement. You could put it up the wall. You could put it on the roof. And what we recommend doing on a roof, uh, and we actually have a display over there as well okay. with the roof assembly. And uh, what you'll see is it's basically just the two layers of comfort board with another piece of plywood on top. So essentially this product is gonna completely wrap the house in all the different sides, all six sides. Correct, yeah, all and right. we could go over there and okay. explain right. that Thanks. too. Thanks, yeah. Dan. Thank you. To find out more information on Rockwell Insulation, you can visit the Rate It Green directory where we have a listing for them because they are a member. Uh, just type in Rockwell in the search bar and hit search, and you can see that they show up down here under the listings. Now, some of the products they have listed, they've got one that has a rating on it already. So take a look at that. Looks like they got 10 out of 10 green leaves and they've got some pretty good ratings down off to the side as well. Again, they are a sustainable project because they take waste out of the waste stream and create an insulation out of it and it's fire resistant. So it's a pretty amazing product and would luck for you to take a look at it. If you've used Rockwell in the past, we encourage you to uh, log into Rate It Green and leave your review as well as a member. Thanks. Thanks again for watching this video. And if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. And for more information on this product and other products like it, we've got a link in the description. Uh, we've loaded up some more videos just like this in a playlist.
off to the right, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. See you next time.